I grew up in New Zealand. I was, I was very fortunate. I think uh, at an early age I was intrigued by colors and shapes of those islands and I I started painting at a very early age and, and loved it. My paintings have, have been inspired. There's nothing really abstract about them. Uh, they're all parts of nature that I've seen or, or experienced. Sometimes they get condensed down to quite simplistic forms. I'm finding that the, the, the simpler the, the subject, the, the more accurate I actually have to be to convey that image. I'm surrounded by this some paintings from my new series that all start the same. They start with this visual image of, of a color and a shape of a, a particular thing. The canvas is then um, layered with lots of materials from burlaps to, to monk cloth to, to cheese cloth. And then the paint is applied, the general forms and shapes. I'm working sometimes off uh, little photographs I've taken, uh, sometimes little sketches, very rough sketches sometimes. Most paintings are very fun to do. I love doing them. Some, some paintings uh, are a struggle and intuitively you know when the painting is finished and when, it's, when you can stop. This painting evokes the feeling of, of 14 typical days here in winter. Each panel represents a different sort of emotion. Um, we've got the bright blue skies that we're so fortunate to have in California here with the, the darker, moody sort of feeling and also the, the huge amount of snow that accumulates here, the sleet, the driving snow. On the northern California and Sonoma coast, the Old Time Ranch has planted these windrows of cypress trees. And the remnants of those are, they're quite beautiful. They're big and gnarly and wind-blown. There's old trunks lying down. Quite beautiful. And of course, uh, who can't be impressed by the sunsets on the coast there? The vibrant pinks. Driving back over the Cascade Range, during the middle of summer, I came across this big, huge 95,000-acre burn that occurred about 10 years ago, and I was, I was just so impressed by the, the coming back of the landscape, the greenery underneath these totem pole-like fixtures of dead trunks that will probably be there for a, another decade or so. Summer, part of the seasonal series of paintings, incorporates the valley farm fields, the furrows between the fields, the golden hills, the foothills of California, and the hot, hazy skies that we have here in summer. This is an example of the, uh, the creative process that goes on with developing a painting. This painting is uh, going to be representative of the uh, the olive orchard that we have uh, right around the corner here. Big old planted in 1872 olive orchard. Hundreds, maybe thousands of trees still left. So uh, what I've done, uh, just the process so far, is I've layered on all my texture. You know, it's nice and heavy in here. This is what I was talking about, these lace type materials. It's the undergrowth underneath the trees. The textures vary again from, um, you know, fairly rough, rough sort of tree shapes to the, the, um, this lighter, more meshier looking laces, which are the, going to be the undergrowth underneath the trees. The colors I've incorporated, obviously, a little slice of sky. That may change uh, a little bit of shape going on. But the, the overall feeling of the painting is the, the beautiful, colors, the silvery shaking sort of colors of the olive trees, there'll be um, sort of simulations of some twisted uh, trunks going on in the end and, and perhaps even I want want to do a little uh, path because there's paths, deer paths, uh, an animal paths right throughout the, uh, the orchard there. This painting is inspired by the uniqueness that is Mono Lake, coming down the steep rocks of the east side 
of the Yosemite National Park in viewing the lake and the dark volcanics behind it and then further out into the, the barrenness of Nevada there. Foresta Early Winter. Foresta is a very small community within the boundaries of Yosemite National Park and this painting depicts the first winter snows within the remnants of the last burn that went through there several years ago. The heart of the painting and the landscape is what the locals call Big Meadow, situated there at the bottom of the valleys. This painting was inspired by a hike in the High Sierra in spring with remnants of the, the big snow from last year and all the the objects, a lot of pine needles, things like that, found on the snow as it melts. Nothing but blue skies, even on a cloudy day. <laughs> this is definitely a painting of the West in summer. The beautiful blue skies and the, the mounting clouds with the parched landscape beneath it. All my paintings are, are pretty straightforward. There's no, there's no hidden agendas, there's no political meanings. Uh, it's all just about shape and color and that response you get from viewing that. In general, art is a, an emotional response. I would hope that people would walk into an art gallery and there's a piece of art that speaks to them, talks to them, they feel connected with it and that gives me great pleasure and I, I feel that everything I've been doing is worthwhile.